Hello, how's it going? Welcome back to the very last episode of Twisted League. We haven't logged in for quite a few days. I didn't realize it's been four days now, holy crap. Well, welcome to the last video today. This is gonna be filled with uh, just going over all the stuff that we've done over the last six, seven weeks now. A few weeks ago, I started this notepad with all the things I wanted to cover on the last day to make sure I didn't forget anything. So hopefully I'm able to cover everything today and I don't forget anything because I won't be making any more Twisted League videos. Oh yeah, so some people get confused about this, by the way. This is Twisted League, but Leagues overall is the game mode. So the next league won't be called Twisted League. Wait, I just looked at the calendar. It's actually been almost eight weeks since the start of Twisted League. But I guess we'll start with one thing at a time. First thing I want to do is turn all the Pyromancer pieces that we have. I was told that you can't get any uniques or the pet from the Pyro pieces. So I guess we probably won't be getting anything, but it can't hurt to try, right? Wait, you can trade in a full set at once. I've always just turned in one piece at a time. This better be a big crate with a bunch of items. Okay, cool, we got a few rolls, all right. Okay, then we have five more crates here. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. Next thing I wanna do is use up all the dark totems that we have in the bank, which is two, apparently. So we're gonna do two Skatizo kills and see if we can snag ourselves a uh, Skatizo pet. And if we do end up getting it, or any pet, uh, they transfer over to future leagues. Holy crap, did you see that? That was a 54. These freaking Dragonstone Bolts E are putting in work here, holy crap. This kill is a lot faster than they usually are with just the Broad Bolts here, but here's the first kill, or the 14th kill, I think, or 15th for Skatizo. Nice. I've got a very dramatic angle here for this very last Skatizo kill. We got one last chance for the pet. All right. Oh, another Dark Claw. I think it's the second one. Not that it means anything, but... All right, things to do next now. We don't have any more Brimstone keys. Um, oh, actually, here's what I want to try doing. Let's take a look at these nests that we have. Nest, I can't type. Uh, we have these birds' nests right here. Let's see if we can get a piece of the evil chicken outfit. Okay, here's all the eggs, and it is one out of... I probably should have checked before I started talking. Okay, there's a one out of 300 chance of getting a piece of the evil chicken outfit for each of these eggs that we turn in here. Remember in uh, EOC, or pre-EOC even, there were the uh, god birds, like the Cerodomen, the Zamorak, and the Guthix birds, and you used to be able to hatch them from those eggs using summoning. I like those birds, man. I wish we had them in old schools, like a birdhouse pet or something. I'm not sure if I should show the bank first or show the collection log first. I don't know which would make more sense. I guess we'll start with the bank, and my bank is really disorganized, so whatever items I miss, we'll just end up seeing them in the collection log. So here's the bank. It's really disorganized because I never Never saw a reason to organizing it, especially when Twisted League only lasts two months and it's all about to go away uh, anyways, so never really saw a reason to spend time doing that. There's really nothing in this main tab over here, uh, just completely random items. Oh, there's the two Dark Claws that we got. And we got some Clue Scroll items here. Uh, yeah, I never even put these in the Clue Scroll tab because I just really couldn't be bothered. All these seed packs I haven't even opened because I just don't care. We don't need any more seeds because we got all the farming XP that we needed. Oh, I'll show the Seed Vault too after this. Okay, after the main tab, here's the first tab. This is the Herb Lore tab. So here is all the herbs that we have, as well as some of the secondaries and some seeds that I used commonly. Like I'd go through phases where I'd use one seed at a time to get a lot of herbs for that one specific seed. And then once I moved on to the next seed, I never put them in the seed vault. So I just have all these random different types of herb seeds spread throughout this tab here. We left off with level 80 herb lore because that was the last league task before 99. And I didn't see a point to training herb lore unless I knew for sure that we had all the herbs and all the supplies in order to get us to 99. So the last like maybe week or so that I was actively playing this account, I was doing as many herb runs as possible um, just to see if we could possibly get 99 herb lore or at least have all the herbs for it. Then we could collect secondaries. And I did the math and with all the herbs that we have in this bank tap here, that's enough to guess to about level 93 herb lore. So, I mean, we're barely just over halfway to 99. Throughout the whole Twisted League, all the herbs I farmed, all the Slayer I've done, it's just over halfway. If we had Triple Harvester, we definitely could have gotten 99. Actually, that's something I want to talk about, is maxing on Twisted League. From the start, my goal was not to max, and the relics that I chose reflected that. Um, because if I want to max, I would have chosen Triple Harvester, because that would have made herb lore a lot easier, 
would have made smithing a lot faster. Um, I guess those were really the skills holding me back. Agility too, of course, but I mean, no matter what relics you pick, agility is always going to be hard no matter what. But my main goal was to have fun, and I did have a lot of fun playing Twisted League. I just don't think it would be fun to, you know, go for 99 agility. Like, okay, I'll get 80 through bar fishing and try out the methods, but once I learn those methods, I don't want to spend like 50 hours hopping pillars, you know, or just sit there at Red Dragons for 20 or 30 hours just killing Red Dragons and tanning their hides. It doesn't seem like fun. I also didn't go with any of the combat relics because I feel like if you're not a raider, then there's no point to doing it. And uh, I don't know, if you've watched my videos in the past, you know I'm more into like skilling and just making big, fat, juicy uh, XP gains. Anyways, I got a little bit distracted there. Let's uh, continue on with the bank video. Speaking of banking, it is kind of weird like using a bank after playing UIM for so long. But yeah, this is uh, all the herbal supplies. Next tab is the skilling tab. So we have all the ores up here that we got from, uh, I guess, Slayer. And then we got a lot of coal from opening the brimstone chest. There's the logs. We got some gems. Uh, where's those broad arrows at? Oh, they're not on this tab. Uh, but yeah, there's like the rest of the supplies that we had for the broad arrows. Bunch of nests that I would have made for brews if we were going for 99 Herblore, which obviously never happened. Uh, here's the Alchables tab. I alk most like the Rune and Dragon items, so there's not much really to look at in here. If I was going to keep on alking, I would have just taken out all these items as notes and just ran around alking. All right, here is the clue scroll tab now. This is all the clue scroll items. I know it starts out looking pretty well organized, but right after about here, it starts going to stinky diaper poo poo. I guess it'll be easier to look at all these items in the collection log later, um, especially because not all my clue scroll items are even in this tab. So did we finish all the books? Uh, yeah, we did. So we finished all the books. We got all these teleport scrolls that I didn't want to put in the master scroll book because I liked looking at them and mainly because I had already organized all of them and I just liked how it looked in the bank. Um, oh yeah, so we got gilded van braces. Here's all the gilded that we got actually. Gilded Van Braces, Gilded Chaps, and Gilded Axe. I'll actually take those out of the bank here. Um, then we also got the Golden Apron, although it's not really a rare item, but it is gold, so it looks cool. Uh, what else is there to point out in here? I'll just scroll through and you can take a look, pause where you want to. And then my favorite item that we got was the Ring of Third Age. I'm not sure if that counts as getting Third Age. Like if someone asks me like, yo bro, you ever got Third Age before? Um, I mean, besides the fact that it's Twisted League, so I didn't actually get it. Even though I did, I didn't get the ring, you know? But either way, does that count as getting Third Age? I don't know. But you can turn into any piece of Third Age that you want with it, so that's really cool. I really hope one day I could get that on the UIM, because you can store that in the house by itself. Oh, there's the uh, Samurai. Wait, what Samurai pieces do we get? Oh, we got three of them, and then for the darkness pieces, we just got one, okay. Well, I guess we'll see in the collection log in a minute here. Let's move on to the next tab. Oh, dude, this tab's so stupid. I don't even know what I was doing. Wait, we have some mediums in here. Uh, let's open those up, I guess. I don't know why I have those. Um, I don't know what this tab even is, but let's quickly open up these five clues here. I'm so glad we got a penguin mask. It's actually like one of the best items in the game. I'll just wear that. Okay. Uh, I guess I have to take those back out now. Oh, we got some giant keys and some long runes. All right, moving on to the next tab now, the last tab. This is the Slayer slash PVM related tab. Uh, I am able to make a lot more potions. I just kind of made them as I went. So there's the potions that we have. 413,000 broad arrows. I'm going to take those out. Oh, my four ranger boots. I love those. Uh, oh yeah, we got brimstone boots, we got a couple of manacles, a couple of Robin Hood hats, uh, let's see, oh yeah, we got holy wraps, this is my prayer setup right over here, they had a pretty good prayer set, was that max prayer? If it's not max prayer, we got very close to it. Oh, the only thing we were missing was devout boots. We never got holy sandals and we never got the attachment to make devout boots. But I think other than that, we had pretty much max prayer bonus, uh, at least for Twisted League. And you can see all the food that we have here. Sharks, manta rays from doing master clues, I think is where you get them from. Oh, we got three pieces from Hydras. We got the eye, the fang, and then the tail. These were the two pieces for the ring. We never got the third piece for the ring, but we did get the third age ring ha <laughs> ha uh, we got tome of fire here wizard boots we got the 1d medhelm from killing hydra i have no idea why the celastris bark is here in this tab in the bank but with the bark i just never felt like fletching them to battle staff so we have 60 bark here in the bank uh yeah, I guess I, I showed everything in the bank. Wait, I was watching the clips back over and I noticed the clue scroll tab, something that bothered me that I never thought about before until uh, actually looking back at the clips. Let me put this right up there. 
<laughs> yes, that's much better now. <laughs> oh, one more thing I want to show is all the bones and then all the insold heads that we have here in the bank. Uh, and then once again, the same deal with training Herblore. Uh, it's not enough for 99, so there's no point doing it because there's no league points that we get in between. And it's not like there's any more prayers to unlock because we already have 84 prayer. I'm just grabbing all this random stuff out the bank right now for a thumbnail. Uh, I'm not sure like which items are even worthy of, I don't know, just having in the inventory just to flex them off. There's so many different things, but at the same time, it's like with all these clue items, it's all just RNG. <laughs> like, it's cool to have four sets of ranger boots, but at the same time, I just got lucky, you know? We have over 1,500 purple sweets from doing clues. What's that worth? That'd be worth 6.1 mil in the main game. We have a lot of these uh, clue scrolls left over as well. I just didn't do any more clues because we'd hit like the last milestone of number of clues that would be worth the time. All right, I guess that looks pretty good. Uh, we may as well go check the time played while we're at it. So let's see how much time I put into Twisted League. Oh wow, I guess there's uh, still new players coming into Twisted League even this far in. That's cool. All right, let's check how long have I been here. There we go, 26 days out of 54. Now, I wanna address a comment that's come up in a lot of the videos that I posted. There's always been at least one or two people that comment, what's the point, bro? Everything's gonna disappear anyways. Why are you even playing this? And my argument to that logic is why do literally anything? Why play RuneScape? Why go to work? Why go sleep? Why go to school? Why do anything? Because we're all gonna die in the end, right? So may as well enjoy your time while it lasts. I know maybe that seems a bit dark and it's kind of something that we all just push out of our heads, but it's the truth, right? There's no right or wrong answer to life, just do whatever you think is fun. As long as you're not hurting anyone else, I think should be specified. All right, let's go to the farming guild and just quickly check out the value of the seed vault. Probably should have done that at the start when we were actually there because now we have to teleport there and run all the way over to the farming guild. Endurance gang for life, baby. Oh yeah, give me that free farm and XP. Okay, let's head over to the seed vault and I don't know if it really matters what seeds we have, I just want to see the value of it. So once we open it up, it'll be right at the top. So 13.7 mil is the value of the seed vault. I could open up all those nests that we have in the bank from uh, woodcutting and then open up all those seed packs. But I mean, I really honestly don't care. We could say it's like 15 mil or something with all the value of the seeds that we probably would end up getting. But yeah, that's, uh, that's a fair chunk of stuff that we have in here. I don't know if you really care to see all the seeds that we have, but just pause anywhere you want if you want to dude this is a lot of freaking herb seeds though like you get so many from farming contracts and we did 400 farming contracts for the uh league tasks so we have way more seeds than we ever ever could have possibly gone through especially because there's only two herb patches on zaya and we don't have triple harvester which makes the uh, farming cycles a lot faster uh one more thing i forgot to point out is the nature talismans and if you've been following the channel since pretty much the start of the Hardcore series, only the true OGs will know the meme behind the Nature Talisman, but essentially the Nature Talisman is a very special item for this YouTube channel that holds a lot of sentimental value to me. So we end up getting 31 of them, and I made sure to pick them up whenever I saw them, so he has as many as possible. Um, not that literally anyone asked or anyone cares, but I care, okay? We got 31. I actually still have to build a bookcase in the house so we can even get the collection logs. So let me uh, build the bookcase real quick. Ah uh, yes, all the way in the back corner over here, we shall build the mahogany bookcase because may as well have the best for this dead account, right? And then we can just grab the collection log out of here. There we go. Yeah, you don't actually have to have gone to the Varrock Museum to get the collection log. Even in the main game, they didn't like make that special for Twisted League. That's just how it is. First time with the collection log on the account. So let's open it up and take a look at what we got. So first thing we see right away is we got two whips. If we check the uh, enchanted gem here, that was in 1456 KC. So pretty much on the drop rate. I mean, you can see the two whips in the inventory right here. The collection log. So uh, where's Hydra at? Alchemical Hydra, right. Uh, so I learned Hydra on this account um, and I feel not like extremely confident with it, but I learned the mechanics. I know how to kill a boss. We will eventually get there on the UIM. And now I don't have to stress about learning it on the UIM because that does not sound like fun. Learning Hydra with a very limited inventory and then dying and having to get the looting bag back and filling it up all over again. And then at the Toad, it took us 215 kills to get to 100 million fire making XP. There's always some pedantic guy in the comments who's like, it's not Toad, it's actually Todd. Uh, well, first off, that's supposed to be a joke. And second off, it's a play on words because I'm making fun of the Winter Toad. It's an actual Toad. Oh yeah, we did kill Seracnus. We got 25 kills for the Lee task. Got a couple of uh, egg sacks. Apparently those are the uniques from there. We did one raid just for the Lee task as well. We got nothing. And here is, actually, let's come back to this. Let's just quickly go through. Is there anything even to show here? Uh, Tithe Farm, I guess. We got 
the outfit we had like i think 50 more points or something like that or 75 more points but we can't afford anything else from there and then in the other tab over here we got nothing from aerial fishing uh, we did spend quite a few hours there but we didn't even get enough pearls for one single piece or any single rod or anything for pets we got no pets at all no boss pets no skilling pets nothing random events i did one random event on the first day and then i didn't do them ever again because i just stopped caring it was cool because we got this within like an hour of making the accounts so i thought it was really cool i think at one point they were talking about possibly having random event items carry over to future leagues like how pets do and same with emotes, but I don't know if they're actually going to be implementing that. Or maybe it was just the random event emotes, I don't know, but... Um, yeah, well, I guess we'll see next league what they end up doing. Shazian armor, I don't know why that's on there, but yeah, we got all the Shazian armor. Slayer, what's in this tab? Okay, uh, yeah, I guess I showed all this already. We got a lot of Mystic Gloves. Oh yeah, we got the Dragon Hosta, of course, after we got the Whip, so it didn't really matter at that point. By the way, like the Hosta and stuff like the Kodai and the Hydra's Claw and all that kind of stuff that you would normally need another item from the main game to make or you'd have to utilize something in the main game to make it, it automatically came fixed or in its usable form. So the Kodai Insignia was actually the Kodai Wand, the Claw was actually just the Lance that it dropped, or in this case you get the Broken Dragon Hosta as a regular Dragon Hosta. I don't know why they have Skilling Pets here and then they also have all pets, like not just separated into boss and skilling, but they include the skilling as well in here too, for some reason. Uh, but the last tab on here is Miscellaneous. Uh, so we did, I think it was, yeah, it was a hundred Lizardman Shamans, no Warhammer, which kind of glad that we didn't get that. We got 16 Dark Totems, we got some Long Bones, Giant Keys, Eric's Talismans, a lot of his Spory Seeds. And now moving on to the actual good tab that probably most people only care about for the collection log is the Clue Scroll. So there are no beginner clues in Twisted League, it's only easy and above, so... For the easies, we did 500 of them, and from the 500 easies, you get the large spade, which is the untradeable unique you get from completing that. So uh, we got 82 out of 131 easies. We got two Cape of Skulls, and then got a lot of these other pieces here, of course, which you would expect to get in 500, of course, you get a lot. Got the ham joint from that too. These are actually worth a lot in the main game. These amulets of power T, I believe they're worth over a mil each. So that's everything from the easy clues. Yeah, those two Capes of Skulls too are worth freaking 20 plus mil. Uh, oh no, 19 mil. I swear they were worth like 21 mil when you first got them. All right, and then for the mediums, we got 255 done. Of course, the uh, four ranger boots, which is pretty cool. Every unique four medium clues is the same drop rate, except for elegant and unicorn masks. So if we really want to see the cool items that we got, you want to look for the elegant and the unicorn mask that we end up getting. Uh, so we got a white unicorn mask, and then we also got just a few elegant pieces over here. Uh, I guess the only elegant set that we finished was the white set, apparently. Oh, we got the cat mask, and hopefully they add cat ears at some point. That'd be really nice because this cat mask, when you wear it, it's just not the same as having straight up cat ears. All right, Jagex, fine. You can add cat ears as a reward using league points. Onto the hard clue scrolls now. We did 250 of them. No third age, no... Gilded. No, wait, we got gilded. Is it maybe? No, that's from Elites actually. We got no hard clue gilded items. Uh, we got a couple. We actually finished the full Robin Hood set with like all the different Robin Hood pieces throughout the different tiers of clues. We got all these ornament kits that we can't use. We didn't get any usable ornament kits. I was looking in the bank. Um, none of the ornament kits that we have we can use on any items that are possible to get in Twisted League. Uh, looks like we finished this Ceridoman set here. We never finished any of the God Dehyde sets as well. I really want to finish one just to like wear it, just to see how it looks. Um, and we also never got any of the shields either. Uh, you can store the shields alone and the boots alone as well, but uh, for these other sets, you need these four pieces to store them in the POH. So hopefully on the UIM at least, I can get one of these boots or one of these shields one day because I still don't have any of them on the UIM. And then going down to the end here, uh, yeah, this is everything else that we ended up getting. We never got a trim glory, but that's okay because we did end up getting the 10 dragon stones from Skatizo, which we used five to unlock the bone altar and the other five I made into glories. So for hard clues, we got 76 out of 158. Now moving on to the elites, we got 100 elites done. We got, yeah, the gilded pieces I showed you before, which are also in the inventory. Uh, then again, ornament kits, which we can't use. There's the pieces for the ranger's outfit that we got. Uh, yeah, it's not filled up too much here, but we only did 100, so you can't really expect to get that many from here. Some of the uh, metallic dragon masks. Yo, the lava dragon mask actually looks really sick. You hardly ever see it. 
um, but it has the same effect as the fire cape, like the lava is flowing throughout the mask, which I think looks really cool, but we didn't get that. And then as the masters, we did 50 masters and we are 12 out of 94 for the masters. Wait, what was it for elites? 23 out of 98, okay. And then for masters, we got the ring of third age, which is like my prized possession on this account. I think that's the coolest thing. And then, oh, those are for masters as well. Maybe we got them for masters, I don't remember. Um, again, ornament kits we can't use, one piece of darkness, three pieces of samurai, a bullwig, which is actually literally me, IRL, and then the two obby capes, which are in the inventory, or I'm wearing it. And for shared, oh, yo, that's so freaking satisfying. We finished the shared treasure trail rewards. I don't think it's that hard to fill this up. All these items are like from all the clues, but um, yeah, that's cool. We actually got everything on here. That looks really nice. And it's green too. It didn't used to always be green, did it? And then the total amount of clues that we did was 1,155 total clues completed. And that will do it for the collection log. I mean, the collection log. I'm really trying to make sure that I'm not forgetting to say anything and not forgetting to show anything. Um, there are some final words that I do want to say about Twisted League. Um, so first thing is, if you didn't know already, these points will transfer over to the main game. We have 22,660 League points, and I'll put on screen now what our ranks are for everything on the account. There are still eight days left in Twisted League, so keep in mind this is not what the final rankings will be by the end of it, um, because there is still a little bit of time left, but so many people have gotten burnt at this point. Uh, if you take a look at the players online, before there were like a thousand people on every world for the first few weeks of Twisted League. And now you can see it's like 100 to 200 in every single Twisted League world. So the player base has declined by a lot. So I'm really not worried about getting out of Dragon Cup. We're currently rank 139 and it's at least rank 1000. I'm sure probably even higher than that to be in the top 1%, which is Dragon Cup. I'm surprised we're still rank eight for construction. Um, I guess no one likes training construction, but I don't know. It wasn't really even that hard to get uh, to 25 mil XP. I guess if you focus all your time onto any one individual single skill, you probably could have gotten any one digit rank that you want if you really wanted to get one and that was your goal. Uh, but yeah, so as for the points that transfer over to the main game, I believe it's once Twisted League ends, the reward shop will open up and they could spend these points on rewards in the main game, which are all tradable except for the cup that you get. And the cup that you get is based on whatever tier you are. So if you're Dragon Cup, you get the Dragon Cup, which is an equipable slot for, I think it's the sword and the shield slot, or it's a two hand for the sword slot. I think. But if you're an Iron Man, the only way to get those cosmetic rewards is by playing Twisted League using your Iron Man account because obviously you can't just trade other players to get those cosmetics. But if you want to see the full list of all the cosmetic rewards and how much they cost, uh, just go on the wiki and look up uh, Twisted League rewards and you'll see it right there. I didn't particularly play because I won the rewards because I mean first off, all the rewards besides the cup is tradable. And second thing is that the Dragon Cup, I mean, even though it's not tradable, we are well within uh, the Dragon Cup status. If all I wanted was Dragon Cup, I could have stopped playing probably a couple weeks ago, and we still would have been well within the Dragon Cup. I played it because I thought it'd be fun, I thought it'd be a good learning experience. I've got to say, I've achieved both of those things. And we actually did make quite a lot of friends along the way, I just didn't shove the camera in their face. But it was interesting seeing the types of players that play Twisted League. Like, you could tell there were just the Iron Men who just wanted to AFK the whole time so they could get those uniques on their Iron Man account. There were the excited noobs who were really into it for the first couple of weeks but then kind of just got burnt of it because they get to that point where all the tasks become a lot more tedious and take a lot of time to get more things done. They stopped playing then. And then there were also the burnt veterans, like the veterans that were burnt from the main game because the majority of veterans, you know, people that have played RuneScape for a very long time, didn't care at all about Twisted League. Like if they really wanted, they could just buy the rewards and probably didn't care about having any of the cups. And they just, you know, kept on doing their own thing, skilling, going for EHP and stuff like that. That. But there were the burnt veterans, maybe people who freshly maxed and wanted to play Twisted League just to really enjoy the fast XP rates and try something new. Most people in Twisted League were very friendly. At the start, a lot of the spots were crowded everywhere in the game. I'm sure now if we want to do Slayer or go do anything we want, I'm sure every spot will be pretty empty at this point considering there's like maybe 150 people per world. Not gonna lie, it might be kind of weird going back to the slow XP rates, but at the same time, 
because it means so much more in the main game, I think it's a fair trade-off of having slower XP, but, you know, being a permanent game mode with permanent high scores. I think one of the biggest takeaways that I got out of playing Twisted League is that I learned a lot about how to get around Zaya and all the fastest forms of transportation around Zaya, which I guess will help out in the main game to an extent. Playing Twisted League pretty much felt like playing a legal private server. I think it's a good way to put it. As for future leagues, I would like to play in the next league or any leagues in the future too, um, assuming nothing changes because, you know, a lot can change month to month. A lot even changes week by week. But I mean, hopefully I'm still making videos by then. Hopefully I still have time and I'm not just a washed up YouTuber who has to get a real job back at the sandwich shop. You know, I, I would like to play in future leagues because I did have fun and I'm sure I will have fun with future ones too. I'm sure all of you know by now at least that I do play Ultimate Iron Man and that is the main series on this channel. I understand Ultimate Iron Man is not for everyone, but for those of you that started watching me because of the Twisted League series, I hope you at least give it a chance because maybe you'll like it or maybe you just like me for my personality. So maybe even if you don't like UIM, maybe you'll just like it because it's me. Nah, just kidding bro, that's hella gay. But I will leave a link to the UIM playlist in the description so if you want to start at episode one and just binge watch that over the next few days or even just watch the last couple episodes to catch up to see where we're at now on the ultimate uh, I'd appreciate it if you at least checked it out because maybe you'll like it and if you didn't know UIM stands for ultimate Iron Man which is playing RuneScape without trading and without using a bank so if that idea interests you check it out oh man this will probably be the very last random event we'll be getting on Twisted League Farewell. I haven't streamed for like two months now, uh, so for those of you that watch the streams, twitch.tv slash wild underscore mudkip, they should be picking back up within a couple of weeks because I do still have some stuff to work on on the UIM and I have a lot of stuff to edit with that. But once I get done with all that, the streams will be back to a consistent schedule once again, so like almost every day. And the very last thing I want to mention before we wrap up is I do have an IRL channel and I've been growing out my neck beard since the start of Twisted League. I've never gone this long without shaving and it's been eight weeks now that I haven't shaved. So I'm about to shave that actually in just a few minutes here once I finish wrapping up this video. And I'll be posting that video on the IRL channel as soon as this video goes up. So if you're watching this video, that means the IRL video on the IRL channel has been posted as well. So if you wanna see my before and after of two months of not shaving, then check out the IRL channel. And I usually just post like skateboarding, traveling, hiking, stuff like that on there, just whatever I'm doing in life. So if you wanna check it out and get to know me behind the scenes, the link to the IRL channel is in every video description as well as being listed as one of my feature channels on my YouTube page. I hope I said everything that needed to be said and showed everything that needed to be showed. I don't have any regrets. I had a lot of fun playing Twist League and I hope you enjoyed watching it as well. Um, and I just wanna say thank you all very much for watching this video and hopefully other videos too. Um, because you watching the videos allows me to keep doing what I love. I know it sounds cheesy, but I do really truly appreciate it. So thank you again. And with all that being said, that is going to wrap it up for the Twisted League series. I will see you back in three days with another episode of The Ultimate Iron Man. Now, as this series comes to a close, I have one final recipe I'd like to share with you. It's a uh, family recipe that's been passed down through the generations. So uh, it's called ice cereal. So first thing we're going to do, can I do this with one hand? All right, I'm not too hungry, so we're going to have like maybe... It's like two thirds of a bowl or something. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Usually I get like two bowls, but I'm not too hungry today. So I'm gonna take the uh, filtered water right here. Fill that up. All right. And now all we need to do is just grab a spoon out here. I am left-handed by the way, so I'm gonna put it with this hand. And there we go. We are done. Ice cereal. I'm ready to sit down and play some RuneScape get cozy, and uh, just enjoy the rest of my night. And with that said, thank you for watching, and bone apple tea.